Hola mis serenitas, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Chiquita Serenita and today we're doing a review tutorial and swatches of the new Hip Dots Face by Kareem Palette. Now this is the palette, how it looks. It's got this little, um, I want to call it snake skin uh, design to it. It originally comes with this little slide, um, you slide it in here, right? So let's put it in here, the way it says right here. And it's a pressed powder eyeshadow. It says, when I look back on my career, I want to be able to say, damn, I wasn't afraid to take risk. I hope my story and my journey can inspire you to never give up. I created this palette with all the makeup lovers in mind, and I'd love for you to use it as freely as you want. Don't be afraid to take risk. You are worth your artistry. XO Kareem. Now, let me tell you, I love this color story. The way he created like... He thought of every possible, just like mostly neutrals with those pops of colors. The tones he picked are just so logical to me. They make more sense. Because a lot of these other companies, they add those pops of colors, but they add these crazy pops of colors that in a normal setting, you technically wouldn't even use unless you were like this person who didn't really match. Like this works for me, honestly. This works in a career setting, like let's say you're a suit type type of person, right? For a woman, I don't, men too, forget it, you know, we're, we're including everybody in here. <laughs> um, you want something that is like subtle, you know, but still professional, stuff like that. This works because the tones that he has in here are neutrals, you know, these are the tones right here. I'm sorry, I didn't even show them to you guys, like. Look at all these neutrals. These are mostly all mattes too. So it makes sense. Look at you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mattes, you guys. And then I love that he added shimmers because I love shimmers. But he had, he added three shimmers and I'm good with that. Like that's enough shimmers for me to, to create like the look that I did today or just as an inner corner highlight, you know. And then he has one glitter. I'm a glitter whore. I'm sorry if you're not. You don't like glitter. That's fine. But I love glitter. And he gave me one glitter. Thank you for that, Kareem. Like, <laughs> I love Hip Dots glitters, formulas. And I don't know. I opened this and I couldn't stop smiling because I was like, oh my God, the whole thing. I love the colors he picked. It's just, it's more practical for me. It has enough neutrals. It has enough colors to get my attention. And you already know, like, I'm a huge fan of oranges. Oranges just complement so many skin tones. I've seen him use this palette like for, you know, on the campaign looks. If it works on his chocolate skin tone, then you know it's going to work for someone who's tan, darker tan, and then definitely he 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 like thought of everybody. It, it'll even work for someone lighter because as long as you're okay with both, you know, given there's a lot of lighter skin people who don't feel comfortable in color. As long as you're good, you know, you feel comfortable with bold looks, this will work for you. Like, this is just, I love that he thought of everybody. He thought, he did not leave one single soul behind. He said, we're doing this together. <laughs> and if you've seen his story, like, it is, I'm not even playing. It is inspiring because, and I don't want to say it wrong. I'm sorry if I get some parts wrong, but as to what I remember when I was reading, he said that he had just moved out, I think, from Austin. I'm not sure if it was Texas or something. He moved to L.A. It was like right in the middle of the, when the first pandemic hit, you know, like the first crisis when they shut down everything. He was homeless for a while. I mean, since then, he now he has somewhere to live. But when he first thought of the whole color story of it, he was homeless. He had no money, like no job or nothing. It's like, dang, you know. Talk about starting from nothing and just holding on to that. I'm going to get somewhere. I'm going to make it one day. Isn't that so freaking inspiring? Like that to me, that is awesome. And it literally took him. He like submitted his idea to him. Dot. Literally an hour after he submitted, they okayed it. They like said, yeah, we want it. And I, and I think that's awesome because they don't have this type of palette in Hip Dot. Hip Dot palettes, the ones that I have, they're all color. And they're all color stories. So their Sonati is all different types of blues and greens. And their Xeon is all types of orange and reds. And then they have their, 
Rio one is all different types of bright neon bold colors. You know, they have like different color stories to each of their palettes. And then you get to him and you're like, he gave me something I could use for every day, for the morning, for the afternoon, for at night, you know, for people who take off their makeup and reapply it to go out to, I mean, we're not going anywhere now, but think about it. And later on in a couple of months, hopefully when the, this all this stuff blows over, we're going to be going to nightclubs again and then... <laughs> You can use his palette to like go from daytime to nighttime, you know? I don't know. I loved it. It's so beautiful. I love that he and I hope if he ever sees this video, I'm I'm I know he won't, but I want to thank him from the bottom of my heart for creating this because this is just awesome. It is an awesome palette. I can't stop smiling because when I love something, I tell you guys I love it and I 100 percent recommend it because I love hip dot and hip dot is affordable too i think it goes to like 30 36 dollars i just bought this i didn't buy his brush set only because it had a fan brush and you guys know how i feel about fan brushes like i'm not a fan of the fan brush sorry but if it would have had more like maybe like face brushes and i don't know one face brush and then maybe like two three eye brushes crease shadow tones i don't care i would have bought it I wanted to buy a sponge, but at the time when I purchased this, I couldn't, like, it was like, I couldn't afford it. I don't want to say I couldn't afford it. It's just, like, it would have been more money. So, I was like, I'll come back for you. So, I'm going to start the swatches before people start killing me. I'm going to start right here with cream. I'm not 100% sure. He, he, basically, if you guys go to the website, he will explain every single color why he named it that. This was the one he named after, like, a coworker or something like that. I think I'm getting that right and it's just funny so this is like a vanilla tone yellowish sort of type of matte um, you guys already know how I feel about the lightest tones in the in the sh in this palette you could probably still use that you know as a brow highlight um, transition shade for someone lighter but me personally I don't like brow highlights and I don't ever use light ones for transition shades because it comes out kind of pastelish and that's not even a word, but it comes out pastelish, okay? I'm going to use that. We doing Donald Trump right now. We just making up words that don't exist in the dictionary. <laughs> so next we have Mixie, and Mixie is such a beautiful orange matte too. Oh, God, look at that. I could have totally used that as a transition day today too. That is such a beautiful orange. You already know I love my orange tones. Next to that, we have Wild 105 or something like that. This is like a neon orange, definitely darker than that one. The formula feels a little bit drier, so that's one swatch. This is two. So definitely she can be built up and she gets just more intense as you pat her on there. Next to her we have Tiara, which is my inner corner highlight. She is a shimmer. She is like this champagne-y. And right now that I'm swatching her, she has that rose aspect to her. So like between a champagne and a rose gold, really pretty though. And then next to her we have Glow God. Glow God is such an awesome color. That is the overall lid that you see on my face right now. Glow God is this sage shimmer green, very beautiful. The only problem I had with her was she kind of flakes off somewhat in the pan. But it's not a huge deal breaker for me because she more than makes up for it in pigment and presentation on your face <laughs> in the next row we have sin news sin news was the other matte um this is like an apricot peachy tone on the lighter end this was the other color that i thought about that if i didn't use that first one for my transition shade i would have went for her definitely next to her we have ee -E, and ee -E is just this matte brown they, he has like three types of browns in here they don't look similar in the pan but we'll see right now if they look similar as swatches for now, this one is just this lighter tone brown with just like a smidge of red. Not a lot. It's just got this little tiny, like you want to flick it. You want to flick it. <laughs> Next to her, we have Liar. Liar is the color that I use down here. And let me tell you, Liar is 10,000 times more beautiful in person than she ever was on the internet. She is like, I want to say it's a coral, but at the same time, it's like this dark burnt red orange. Such a beautiful color. I couldn't get over the fact that I was like, wow, she showed up on my, uh, the way she showed up on my eye. 
like wow I could not get over the fact that is such a beautiful color next to her we have Tykera I think it's pronounced this is such a beautiful magenta oh my god I didn't get to use her today you guys but look at that wow she is so beautiful Ooh, Kareem, man. You did your thing, man. Like, that. that is awesome, girl. Like, mm-mm. Queen. <laughs> and you guys should check out his Instagram. And his, um, he has a YouTube channel, too. Oh, God. He makes a lot of us look like clowns. Like, he can do makeup, dude. I include myself. He can do makeup better than me. A thousand times better than me. For a man that wears makeup, like, he can slay. And then you have the gold um, glitter in here. And I was saying earlier, like, well, later on, you're going to see in the tutorial. This gold has specks of aquamarine, like, glitter in there. I don't even think the camera will pick it up. I'm going to do it on right here on my um, back of my hand. But I don't honestly think you guys will be able to see the little specks of blue aquamarine glitter in there. I'm hoping you guys can see the little residuals right here, the little flecks. But it's such a beautiful glitter in person. When I look at my eye, I'm like, oh my god. That is so pretty on the eye. And I didn't use any adhesive. Like, you guys just saw how the way I swiped her on my arm. On my hand, I mean. I didn't use any adhesive. Some of it still has on my finger. So, it doesn't really need adhesive. But if you want to use one before you pat it on, then it just makes it more like, you know star sturdy we can we'll use sturdy <laughs> so it'll last longer definitely i've had that experience with their glitters that if you don't use an adhesive it'll still stick but you might get a little bit of fallout like onto your cheeks and then you just go like this sometimes they'll come off sometimes they'll stay on and they'll spread a little bit and it's okay you're just like this glittery you know fairy walking from one end to your house to another it's it's fine we we okay right here okay <laughs> in the next row we have babe and babe is the color that i used for my transition shade see she, she is such a beautiful peach dark peach tone very pretty so for my next color i'm gonna swipe this one right here that's called astoria that is like the third color i used i believe i did that brown you guys are gonna notice in the tutorial and i actually didn't start recording right away I had already placed my um, transition shade was Babe. And then I had already placed um, Glow God, which was my second overall eye shade. And then Astoria was the color that I put right here a little bit and then a little bit across. And that is when I noticed that I wasn't recording. <laughs> so you guys are going to see that, you know, the video is going to show you guys halfway through. I already have three colors on my face. I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. <laughs> this time, I just, I don't know what I was doing. I was just talking to the camera and, and just not recording. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> next to her, we have Queens, and this is the other brown. Well, this is the last brown in here. I love that the browns, are, see the brown is right here. This is like a maroon one. It has a lot of significant red. You can tell the difference between this one and that one. And even the other one that I swiped earlier, like you can tell the difference between those three. I'm just going to swipe swipe that one that I did earlier on top so you guys can see the tone differences between those three browns. So next to her we have NYC and this is just a dark matte black. You guys already know how I feel about blacks. One black is no different from the next black to me anyways. Like once you have one matte black eyeshadow it's pretty much all the same. Let me do a second swatch. She looks like there's no problems with, um, she doesn't look chalky or anything, so probably really good black, you know, just in case you guys like. I don't really use black a whole lot. I mostly stick to the darker ones. So the last color in here is King. Look at that blinding shimmer. Tell me you would not use that. That is such a beautiful shimmer. Now, something that I do want to notice, that's, that's the last color, by the way, if you guys, you know, just came for the swatches, that's it. So... The one thing I, I do want to notice, and I want you guys to know, that Liar, um, Taikira, and I believe Wild 100, those three right here, one, two, three, 
Yeah, I think it's just one, two, three, and maybe Babe. They have a lot of dye in it because it, it left stains, like swatch stains on my arm. If you guys could tell, see, they have like little swatch stains. So just, you know, FYI, my fingers are kind of like little stained too. If it does stain my eye, I will totally put it down. Um, I think out of all the colors that I have in my eye right now, honestly, the only one that might stain is that one right there, which is the liar color, which I did get significant stain right here. I got liar. So liar might stain my eye and maybe babe, which was my transition shade. But if they do, right up here, okay? Uh, I don't like staining, but I'm willing to accept it if it's once in a while because this is such a great color story. But you already know how I feel about staining, so... So, like I said, that's pretty much it for the swatches, you guys. I want to remind everyone that I am putting out both Spanish and English language videos. So, just please be aware. I know it's confusing when you get, a, like, a notification. Oh, she just put out a video. Oh, and then she put out a video, like, later on during the day. I always do the, Span the English ones first, okay? The English ones I upload first, and it says in the title... If it says in Espanol, that's Spanish. If it doesn't say anything, it just says everything in how it normally does. Review, tutorial, and swatches in English. That's an English video. I don't want there to be any confusion because I noticed that there are a lot of people commenting in English underneath my Spanish videos. <laughs> and then vice versa on the English one. And I don't know if they're doing that on purpose. Or maybe they're thinking she only did a video in English. Or she only did a video in Spanish. And they're just like... Who cares? Let me just watch this, you know? I don't want you guys to think that. Every single video that I'm putting out right now, lately, is uh, same exact look. Just same tutorial. Okay? You're not missing anything. But the only difference is that one is in Spanish, one is in English. In my personal opinion, my personality and uh, my goofiness comes out a lot more in the English one than in the Spanish one. And let me tell you, I have been getting, I don't want to say a lot, but significant amount of negativity towards my Spanish videos saying that I don't say certain words right and all this stuff. And when you hear stuff like that, it kind of makes you want to do, what am I even doing this for, you know? I honestly started doing it because I was having those little subscribers that I do have that have been following me for a while who started watching me in English and they actually prefer... Well, they don't want preferred. They just understand better in Spanish. So I started doing that for them, you know? I wasn't doing this for random people who don't know me, who aren't even subscribed to me and telling me stuff like this, saying, you don't say that, you say this. Well, honey, there are literally thousands of people on here, on YouTube. And you could subscribe to them. Or you can watch them. Okay? I, I said the word wrong. Are you going to persecute me for saying a word wrong seriously dude because as long as you understood me why does it matter i'm not here to judge anybody how they pronounce a word as long as i understood them that's all i care about you guys like i understood you you tried i love to see people who try to say a word in spanish who try to like actually speak it understand it read it write it i am so appreciated with that I hate to see such negative people just pushing other people down for even trying. Oh, you're not saying that right. Excuse me. Who are you? We ain't bothering nobody. Leave us alone. Go go find somebody else to do, you know? But that's it, you guys. That's my little rant. Um, if you guys want to see how I created this look today, of course, you know, the look is like halfway done by the time you get to it. But I'm sorry. <laughs> just stay tuned. Y'all. Like... <laughs> I sat here, I started doing my makeup, and I wasn't recording anything. So, I now, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know. <laughs> Let me just tell you guys what I did, because I am so sorry. I didn't realize I wasn't recording, and if I was recording, maybe it stopped somewhere. And, um, yeah, I was so stuck to myself. I don't know. So, the first transition shade. Uh, if you guys watch me for a while, you should know what to do. Pretty much, I don't have to explain it. Like, I can explain it, but break it down, you know? So, I used Babe right here as my transition shade. You guys already, if you've seen more than one video, you know how I, how I do my transition shade. The blending aspect of it all and everything. And that's such a beautiful color. Let me tell you guys, on this side, it's just like this um, deep 
peach tone uh, color and it's such a beautiful color when I first opened this palette I was like in love with the color story because I was like this is just a practical palette it has your nudes it has those little pops of colors that you like you know I like that one this one honestly just like grabbed my attention and said yeah you're we're using you today so I don't know I liked it so I kept that one and then for my second <laughs> shade I used glow God right here and that is like a sage shimmer I love that he added that that is such an awesome color to have in this color story the only problem that I had with that uh, shade in particular is that when you're because I use my finger you guys know I use my finger for for the shimmers that one like flakes off into the pan like onto the palette so you'll have like little flakes randomly on the palette I'm like wiping it clean nothing on my face okay thankfully but I'm just letting you guys know that does flake a little bit into the pan and then the brown right here that you see I that's what I was doing in the middle of doing that I was actually still adding that to my eyes when I noticed that I'm not recording <laughs> It's called Astoria, and it's just this super chocolate matte brown. The only problem I said that I did have was on this side. Um, when I was putting it in, it, it had this harsh line. I had a really hard time blending it out, you know, to get it to, like, sort of seamlessly blend into that transition shade. I still feel like I ha kind of have a harsh line. It might be the formula of that matte shadow, but it might be my lack of experience. Like, I'm not going to pretend to be a professional, okay? If you're looking for professionalism, this is not the video or the channel or the person for you. <laughs> like, I'm just being honest. I'm going to just continue to do that little corner right there and across my eyelid and I right here because that, this one's a different color and I'm so sorry you guys. Like seriously, I cannot say it enough. I seriously thought I was recording for some reason. I don't know. Like I'm crazy. But about that brown, if you guys want to try if you got, if it works better for you. Try a clean brush and try to like, you know, blend it out. I don't want to do that because I don't want to mess my eye up on this. I make it look different from that eye. But that's just a suggestion. It might be the brush I used too. I just used this Morphe rounded brush. This is from their, I can't remember which collection it was. Yeah, it must have been like Hit the Light collection or something like that. It was the purple one. I just bought it because it was purple. So I'm stamping it in there. Maybe it's just not the type, right type of brush. So it could be that too. So that's what you guys are going to see me do. So for the color that I used right here on my bottom lid, I went in with this color called Liar. I want to say this color is so flipping beautiful. It is easily between, I want to, I honestly started calling it like a corally, it's like a corally red it has that orange, deep orange tone, like a red orange. It looks almost like a red, but it's not actually quite a red. Not in person, anyway. Online, I'm pretty sure that looks like a red, but it's not. It's just this deep orange, blood orange color, I would call it. So, I just put that all on the bottom of my lid. I try to, like, you know, blend it into that brown that was already there. That's what I did. So, that's what you're going to see me do. So for the color that I used right here, I went in with this glitter that's called Gold Series right here. Like, I could not not use the glitter, you guys. I'm a glitter person, so I wanted to use it. Let me tell you, this glitter, it's so awesome in person. You can't see. I don't even think the camera could pick it up, honestly. It has gold and blue flecks, and when I say blue, I mean like an maybe like a between a teal or an aquamarine blue. I honestly didn't use any glue adhesive either. I just tapped her in. So I just like very lightly tapped her in from here, halfway, not covering that brown of course. I just stayed within that little area where the green's already at. So that's what you guys are gonna see me do. I'm just gonna tap her in real quick. So for my inner corner highlight, I went in with this color called Tierra. 
Tierra, I think he, he spelled it. Because it would have been Tierra, which means dirt. In Spanish, it would have had one more R into it. But Tierra, it's a very bright, um, I want to call it like a champagne color. Very pretty. And as my inner corner, I like, I don't know. That's pretty much the only two. Op well, you have this one too. I'm sorry, I forget. So one, two, three options as an inner corner highlight. Everything else in here is matte. That's what I'm saying. For someone that doesn't really like a whole lot of shimmers, this one has a lot of mattes. Literally one glitter and three shimmers. So it's it's a doable palette. What can I say? So that's what you guys are gonna see me do. I'm just gonna pat it in that corner with my fingers. So so that's pretty much the eye look, you guys. Let me put on some mascara. I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics uh, Power Pencil in the color black for my waterline. And then I'll be right back to give you guys the close-up. So this is the finished eye look today. I'm hoping you guys like it. I actually really, really love this palette. I feel like it's a more uh, usable palette, you know, for every day. Like creating different looks and stuff. Definitely has that pop of color that I love so much. And it has those neutrals. That I need you know <laughs> I don't mind going full-on color but I love my options to be open in a palette especially when it comes like this so let me back you guys out and give you guys my final thoughts on this palette okay you guys I'm back and I want to say I actually really love this palette I don't know the whole design of it I love what he did with it how he like created it and the mirror always I always love that about hip dot the mirrors and stuff that they add that nice touch these are the colors in here. Like, these colors are practical. I can work with these colors. That's why I love the palette so much. Because it has three shimmers, but I still have my shimmers, you know? It has a glitter, which I love hip dot glitters. I've always loved hip dot, dot glitters. It's not the first time that I've said that I love their glitters. So, I appreciate that they added one in there. And then all these mattes. Like, you have these crazy amount of mattes, different tones. He has, like, at least three different tones of brown. Honestly, there you can tell significantly they're different tones of brown. This one's just a dark chocolate brown. This is like a lighter tone, caramely kind of brown. And this is like a maroon brown with that touch of red in there. And then you have these ones right here, which you guys already know. That's that's my um peach transition shade. Really beautiful. Sin Nudes is a nice like peachy sort of nude type of color. Like a lighter end of a peach color. And Cream is just this very pale vanilla white which i don't honestly that's the only color out of the entire palette that i don't honestly see myself using everything else in here i'm gucci i can do it <laughs> so i'm gonna let you guys go don't forget to comment like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time i upload a new video and until next time stay warm stay blessed and stay magical bye you guys <laughs>